thank you Lord Jesus for your word thank you that we can worship you and honor you and bring glory unto you thank you that you bring glory back to us thank you Lord Jesus for your presence thank you Lord Jesus for your word thank you Jesus thank you Jesus we worship you Lord God is good I mean all the time God is good there is none like thee there is none like the Lord Jesus Christ he is our Lord and Saviour and um, He is precious, He is precious to us. If you have your Bibles you can turn with me to Psalm 57 verse 1. Psalm 57 verse 1 and um, I am speaking this morning on His feathers, God's feathers. And the Bible is full of images of God that use and re, um, use image, different images of him to explain to us how, how is his heart, what is his will, how does he do things. Sometimes he is in, you know, a lion, and sometimes he is in bird, and sometimes he is a rock, and sometimes he is a temple, and sometimes he is a um, bread. He's bread. And then his wine and his water. And this morning I want us to focus. It's so important to understand God as a bird with feathers. God's feathers. His feathers. So turn to me to Psalm 57 verse 1. And um, if you look to a bird, you will know that a bird has wings. But a wing is full of feathers so he's got different kinds of feathers all right different kinds of feathers and feathers is for a purpose um, someone said to me this week that the purpose is to believe in Jesus Christ no it's not the purpose that is the door to believe in Jesus Christ is the door to our destiny. The destination is to be one with Him. It is not our purpose. We are not living on this earth to believe in Jesus Christ. It is the door to a purpose, to a destination, to a destiny. Our destiny is to be one with Him. And you can't be one with Him if you do not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you understand that? It's important to understand. God wants to give us understanding. He wants us to have wisdom and understanding. How, how is He doing things? Why is He doing things like that? So, before I read this scripture, I want you to focus on three things. I have on my board this bird. And that is the feathers of God. You, you will see a place. It's a place of glory. A place of glory. It is a place I want to focus. You must focus as I read to you stuff. Protection. Blessing. And anointing. Alright. So this morning I am going to open you stuff. So that we can understand God better. And that we can honor and worship God better. Psalm 57 verse 1. In the King James says the following to the chief musician. Okay, that's not so important. The Mertz Mictum of David. So Mictum of David. When he fled from Saul in the cave. So there was a time where David, a son of God, fled. Huh? David, a son of God, a man after God's own heart, anointed, fled in the cave, to a cave from Saul. You understand that? Now, Saul was the anointed king, anointed by God. But Saul wants 
prophesied, Saul once loved God, but he turned his back because he was no, not obedient to God. He turned his back onto God's heart. And that same anointed king by God himself, the first king of Israel, Saul, was after David, the man of God's heart. So sometimes we will not understand, they cannot understand it. Why is the church um, fighting go, oh, go after? We're going yeah. after. Like, Give me the English word for it, man. Go after. 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 Persecuted. Persecuted. Thank you. Sorry for the YouTube people. We are Afrikaans, so we struggle, yeah? Um, persecuted. Yeah. So sometimes you, are, as a man of God, can be persecuted by another man of God. Alright, because that man of God do not understand or has wisdom of God and God's heart and His plan. But he was anointed once with God and from God to rule. So he fled to a cave. He said, when he fled from Saul into a cave, be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me. I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things, all things for me. God that performs all things to me. I will cry unto God. So the first thing I want to tell you, there will come a time, as an anointed man of God, you will cry. And you will flit. And maybe you will flit from other anointed men of God. Because persecution is not always from Satan. Persecution is not always from sinners. Persecution comes from anyone can come from anyone that does not have understanding and wisdom and love and the heart of God. Now this morning I do not speak of the love of God because God is here and He will always love you and nothing will separate you from the love of God. Not even you can separate yourself from the love of God. God is love. But we focus this morning on protection under his wings. Blessing and anointing. And how does it work? Because you cannot be separated from God's love. But I believe you can separate yourself from God's protection. You can separate and walk away from God's blessing. And you can have problems with anointing. If you are not under his feathers. Feathers is... Not only wings, but different things. And I want to focus this morning on what is so important about these feathers. Alright. That was King James. Amplified is totally different. It says, be merciful and gracious to me, O God. Be merciful and gracious to me, for my soul take refuge and find shelter and confidence in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge and be confident until my calamities and destructive storms are past. So the Amplified in the King James is totally different. Psalm 57 verse 1. The one says David fled from Saul to the cave. And the Amplified talks about a bird with wings. O oh Lord, be merciful unto me. I want to come under the shadow, the shadow of your wings. And then we'll take refuge and be confident until the calamities and destructive storms are past. So sometimes you need to flee from men of God. Sometimes you need to flee from storms. And the only place where protection is, is under his wings or in the cave. As a man of God, 
as a man of God. So I know Christ is in me, but that is not the whole purpose. That is not your destiny. We believe in Jesus Christ. We ask Him to come and live inside of us, but that's not our destination. Our destination is when we put ourselves into Him. When we come under Him, His protection and under His wings. That's the only place where you have truly protection, blessings and anointing. I love Lemuel. Lemuel is my son. I will always love him. But he will not always be under my protection. Is he now under my protection because he's 16 years of age? Yes. And he's in my house? Yes. But there will come a time where my protection will always be on him. Always. From my side, will my protection always be on him? But he will go under my protection out. You understand it? Because he's getting 21. And then he's getting married. And whatever. So my protection will always be there. But it will change. And that is what we do not understand from God sometimes. We ask, why God, why did this thing happen to us? We thought that your protection is. Yes, his protection is always there. His protection, his love is always there. But your protection differs from time to time because there's other things. Um, there's other things connected to this protection. Maybe it's something to do with your anointing and we are coming with that. Alright. Then we will fight God because we will think we are not under His protection, but you are under His protection. We are coming by that. And blessings. It is so important to understand. Because we think of, because Christ is in me, we are blessed. Yes, you are blessed. But blessings is also in me, but you are also in it. You understand? We must figure and understand how God is doing. If Lemuel is now 16 of age and he's disobedient, he said to me, I'm going to OK. And I said, all right, 10 minutes. But he's taking his bicycle and he's going to a girlfriend. And the car is maybe passing him and he's full of his bicycle, whatever. Then I do not know where he is. He's out of my protection because he was disobedient. Something happened to him. My love is always on him until he's dead. Until he dies. My love will be on him. My protection will verify. You understand that? Mm -hmm. So remember, God is there. But we must be under his shadow until the storms and the people that are against us passed. You understand? Mm -hmm. Alright. It says under the shadow of his wings. Until the calamities and destructive storms are passed. That's another thing I want to tell the people that although we are sons of God and children of God, we have calamities. But that does not say anything about God's love. Nor His protection. If there is a calamity, does not mean that God do not protect you. Let me tell you, you must understand anointing. You must understand blessing. You must understand protection, how it works. Alright. So, obedience, very important for protection. God will always love you, but you need to be obedient for protection. If you are disobedient, the protection verifies. It's not what it ought to be for you. It changes for you. Alright. Now, I will get the meal. I will ask him, what are you doing here? He's lying on the ground. A uh, car passed me and I fall off. I will, my protection is there. But he's now, he has sore. There is now a problem. I must take him now to the clinic or hospital. You understand? The consequences is now on him because he was disobedient. But my protection was on him. 
Right, it says in Psalm 61 verse 4, I will dwell in your tabernacle forever. Do you remember this song? We will worship him forever and ever. I will dwell in your tabernacle forever. I believe David wrote this. I believe as a son of God, sometimes you are not in the right place. But you can be in his tabernacle, his dwelling place forever. God will never leave you nor forsake you. He will be in you. But there is a place where you must be in him, in his tabernacle, in him as a temple. You are the temple of God, but he is also a temple for you. You understand that? Do not fight God because something calamities and people are against you because you are not in his tabernacle. And do not have his protection. You understand? Alright. Let me find refuge and trust. Where do you find refuge and trust? Because we are talking about his feathers. Under his wings is full of feathers or pinions, the same word. And that feather is, is refuge. Refuge means protection. So outside of this place is no protection. There is protection, but it's a little bit different. You understand? But trust and found trust in the shelter of your wings. In, under the shelter of your wings, you will find trust. Outside, you will not find trust. What does that mean to find trust? That means you are here in a place where you learn to trust God because He only honors His word here. And if you are here under His protection, and you are obedient under his wings. You see that he honors his word. And you come to a point where you trust his word. But if you are outside of this place. You are not under his full protection. Because you are now under your own protection as well. Then things happen. And your trust in the Lord is wavering. Alright, in the shelter of your wings, and then it says, Sela, it means pause and calmly think of that. So the writer wants us to think on these things under his wings, under his feathers, yeah, under the, in the anointing, in the tabernacle. In the dwelling place of God, in the secret place of God, is there a refuge and protection. And trust is only built there. God only honor His word. Alright. And if you can understand His word, you can have His word and you can learn to trust in Him. Let's go to another verse, so Psalm 91 verse 4. He will cover you with his pinions, his feathers. God will cover you with his pinions, it means feathers. And under his wings shall you trust. You see that trust again and find refuge. Under his wings you will find trust and refuge. Under his wings. He will cover you with his feathers. And under his wings shall you trust. His truth and his faithfulness are a shield and a buckler. His truth, his truth and faithful, his faithfulness. Now that's two things. I like the word feathers because feathers is more than one. Wing, there's only one wing. This side. And this side. Wing. But his wings is full of feathers. And that feathers, the one, is truth. 
it's very important to see this and his faithfulness the other one now with God's faithfulness we can do nothing God will always be faithful maybe you are unfaithful unto him he will always be faithful so you can do nothing with that feather under that favor you have protection and blessing and anointing under that wing his faithfulness he will always be feather but listen here his truth is another type of feather his truth is so important that you must accept his truth and stay in his truth so the one like love is unconditional you cannot do anything to get it or to lose it God will always love you it's unconditional but his protection is conditional and his truth is conditional you must from your side stay under that feather of truth you cannot open your mind to any false doctrine and teachings and things outside and this religion says that and that religion says that then you will have a problem with your protection because as a man thinketh in his heart so is he his life will respond to what he believes and focus on so truth it's so important to stay under truth Amen. his truth and his faithfulness are a shield and a backlit a shield verse 5 you shall not be afraid for the terror of night you shall not be afraid for the terror, terror of night it means the enemy that comes in night time why? because there is night time there is calamities there is danger there is men of God there is sinners against people of God because they do not understand because they do not have wisdom that's why you need to stay under his wings under his feathers what is his feathers? truth and his faithfulness it protects you it helps you I want you and then the terror or the enemy in the night will not find you Amen. so there is a place like I will dwell in your tabernacle forever there is a secret place where you are always protected by God Amen. but there is Christians that do not have protection today believe me some Christians um, land and farms will be taken away and some Christians farm and land will not be taken away by this government of South Africa some will have full protection and others will not have protection some will have truth and his faithfulness and some will be under not under his wings under his feathers under his covering God loves them but will not help you his love you need to be under his shadow of his wings because I must flee to the cave because Saul is against us you understand Matthew 26 verse 40 this place is the place where Jesus is just before the crucifixion and he's in the garden of Gethsemane I want you to listen to the words I speak here and he come Jesus come unto his disciples Jesus came to his disciples is his disciples men of God yeah. are they children of God yeah. are they sons of God yeah. all right yeah. they are sons of God yes it is for before the cross but they are already children of God because Israel and the Old Testament were children of God. Yes, we are in the kingdom now. Yes. And Christ is in us. Their Christ was only with them. But that's alright. 
That's all right. They were saved. They were children of God. Listen. He cometh unto his disciples and find them them asleep. Verse 40. 26, Matthew 26, verse 40 says, the following, He cometh unto his disciples, his people, his kind, and find them them asleep. And say unto Peter, What could, what? What could ye not watch with me one hour? What is your problem? Why are you sleeping, son? Why are you sleeping, disciple of God? Why are you sleeping, prophet? People of God can sleep. God will not make you stay awake. You must be awake. Don't tell me, yes, Christ, Christ is in me. He will never leave me nor forsake me. That's true. But you can sleep. You need understanding. Can you not watch with me one hour? Then he says in 41, Watch and pray, that ye enter not into temptation, for the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Watch and pray. In Afrikaans it says, Walk in bed. Walk means watch. Watch. It means something from your side. Yes, pray to God and say, Lord, thank you for your faithfulness. Yes, honor Him. Thank you, Lord, for your truth. Thank you. But the Bible says, watch and pray. So it means you have an active thing from your side to put you under His wings and not fall asleep. And stay in truth. Amen. <coughs> and be obedient. Because if you are not obedient, you have not full protection. You have not full blessings. There's three things of blessings. First of thing, God will say, Why? You do not need to sow always. Because the, the mossy, the sparrow, does not always Put seed in the ground. Don't you know you are my children and that you are more than the birds of the air? And your Father in heaven will look after them. Is it that true? Yeah, yeah. So that means that our Father is the Lord Jesus Christ. He's our, he will always look unto us and He will bless you and you will have a protection. But there is a deeper thing of blessing. Now, they do not sow, and God protects and helps and gives them food. And the, the, the flowers of the garden, God looks after them. But you are much more than that. Now, if you put some seed in the ground, don't you know, whatever you sow, you will reap? So there's a second thing of blessing. There is a normal blessing for all people. There is a normal protection for all people. But there is a deeper thing. Where you put yourself under His wings. For fully protection. And always protection. And there is a fully a deeper thing. Where you are more blessed than others. And those people I know and I can see practically. That the people that are... Blessing God with their time and blessing God with their money and blessing God with love and blessing God with whatever. He's putting seed. They are more blessed than the people that does not do that. Because as long as the earth remains, seed and harvest will remain. Amen, amen. So you can be more blessed. Yeah. Then there is a third thing. A greater blessing. And that, the first is, you must be a son to be blessed by God. And He will, He will sort for you. He will care for you. Then there is a second, deeper one. If you put seed in the ground, there is a deeper thing. 
of blessing coming up. Then there's a third one, and that is when you find your purpose in this life, you are true to yourself, and you step into your destination, God's blessing is more on you because you have a purpose to work for Him. Do you understand that? When God called me, and He said, um, build for me a chicken hawk, what is a hawk? Cage. Cage? He will give you a hundred bucks. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It is a type now of things I must do in the spirit. Do you understand that? Yeah. But when you ask you, come here, Quimis, I want you to build colonnade. He will not give you a hundred bucks. He called Quimis, Prophet Quimis. He said, I want you to build a, a, a TV a ministry and this big things. He will give you millions. Because you enter into your purpose, your destination, your calling. There is a deeper blessing financially on you to do the work of God. Because He called you to do that. Mm -hmm. But if you are only called to look after chickens, God will honor that. But He will not give you millions to look after chickens and build a chicken cage. We must understand these, these flocker Level. levels of God's protection because we honor Him and because we plant seed and because of our purpose and stuff. You must understand that. And there's people that do not understand that. Because if there's calamities in their life, they will think, where is God? Where is God? But God is always there. It is you that need to come under His feathers and stay under his feathers and flee to the cave it says watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation so outside there is more temptation for the flesh he says the spirit indeed is always willing of all Christians but that doesn't count don't tell me Christ is in you. Yes, man, your spirit is willing. It has the power, but your flesh is weak. Put yourself with spirit, flesh and soul under His care. Put yourself in Him. He is in you, but put yourself in Him. And trust God, because this is the only place where you truly trust God. And your trust is building. Yeah. Outside, it doesn't help. You're a Christian, but you have calamities, and there's problems, and you think, where's your protection? Your protection is there, the love is there, everything is there, but you are disobedient. In the kingdom of God, you get disobedient children, you get disobedient children. It says, um, Verse 42, he went away again the second time and prayed, saying, O oh my father, if this cup may not pass from away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. He went away again the second time and prayed, Jesus prayed, saying, O oh my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, Thy will be done. There is cup, cups, a lot of time to drink. As the Son of God, He had to drink a cup. Yes, the anointing. Sometimes you think God's protection is not there. Listen to Jesus' prayer. But God's protection was on Him. But it is not the way you think. You need to drink this cup. Because it's about the anointing sake. Amen. And the anointing is always for someone else. Anointing means wrap of oil on you. So I'm anointed. That means God came and He wrapped oil on me. But why will He wrap oil on me? Christ is then in me. Christ is in all the believers. But you need to have wrap oil. Be anointing. That means there is something more than only Christ in me, the hope of glory. There is a glory. 
And the hope of glory is inside of me, but the glory is outside. I need to enter into that, Him. So it is Christ in me, but also me in Him. And it is that place where truly protection and favor and blessings and anointing is. When He wraps you for a purpose. But listen here. Listen here. He says, oh, I do not want to drink this cup. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. He came to his disciples, his people, and their eyes were heavy. Your eyes is things you look through. Your focus is heavy. It's dim. You cannot see like You need sometimes a prophet and a man of God to touch you on your head and open the word for you so that your eyes can open and you can see clearly now the rain is gone. Their eyes were heavy and he left them and went away again and prayed a third time saying the same words. He's saying the same words, oh Lord this cup, oh it's bad. I need to drink this cup. At that moment, I think God, Jesus Christ felt he's not under the protection of God, but he was. He was under the protection of God the Father. And still they kill him under the protection of the Father. Because God has a purpose, he needed to be killed. He needed to die so that many will rise. He needed to be anointed. He was anointed alone, but he needed to have another function, another oil wrapped upon him for someone else, us. So sometimes we need to drink cups, sometimes there's calamities, sometimes there's problems, sometimes there's hardship, sometimes there's great men of God against us, and we say, where is the protection of God? Where? But you are in this place here. But you do not know. It's all about the anointing for someone else. God wants to anoint you. To increase you here. And you think where is God? God is always there. So, verse 45 um, says then, Then he come. Then cometh he to his disciples and say unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at the hand that do have betrayed me. He is at hand that do betray me. Jesus Christ is God and there's people betraying Him. What do you think that people will never betray you? Do you know who only can betray you? Not a sinner or someone you do not know cannot betray you because they do not know you. It's only loved ones, only family, only people next to you can betray you. Friends can betray you and they betray the Son of God and he said to them, sleep on now. I see some of you disciples, some of the sons of God, some of the children, some of the people full of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Christ is in you. The hope of glory. He will never leave you nor forsake you. But you are asleep. Your eyes is heavy. You are not in truth. You are disobedient. And the protection is not on you. Go and sleep further. Please. This is the third time I ask of you. Come and pray. Watch with me. But you could not watch with me. Watch and pray. Means there is an active thing from us. Where God says. Put yourself under my protection. Watch carefully. And Pray to God, God, give me wisdom, give me understanding, give me light, give me power, give me obedience to be obedient to you. 
I know you are faithful. Help me to be faithful unto you. Put myself in you. There is the only thing. The full protection. Where nothing can hinder you. Nothing can separate you. Nothing can be against you. It says the Son of Man will be into, betrayed into the hands of the sinners. Jesus is the Son of Man. Once. Today we are the sons of man. Truly. Today, he is the son of God. He is not the son of man anymore because he came as the son of man. He is now the son of God. We are also sons of God and sons of men. And, but sometimes we will be hand into the hands of the sinners for anointing sake. And you will think God is not protecting you, but you will be here. Yes. Yeah, is full protection. But sometimes it doesn't seem to you you have protection. Why? Because of this thing. Sometimes it will not seem that you have blessing. Why? Because you do not understand this flocker. Levels of blessing. You must understand God. God loves us, He cares for us, but let us put ourselves under His feathers this morning, under His grace, and His protection, and His love. May this bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.